Oh, dang. Oh, it is, isn't it? <laughs> dang. So if you're there with this, this is the intro. And so, <laughs> yeah, we'll be right back. <laughs> Pastor Paul and Christy Earl from Living Word Gilbert, downtown Gilbert, Arizona. Isn't our city so beautiful? Yes. <laughs> yes. Downtown Gilbert is it's an awesome cold. place. We haven't been down there. It's yeah, frigid. Yeah, lately for us, it, it'd be cold. We have frigid about three cold. weeks of winter. We're in the middle of I that right now. I have to wear a right jacket. Now. But everybody's coming out <laughs> for the Super Bowl, so I promise we'll have oh, good weather. Then. Last time we had Super Bowl, it actually rained a lot and it was cold. Did it? So this time it is not going to be. It's what year was that? Nice and warm. A uh, while back, 2016 oh. maybe. Okay. And anyways, I am uh, so if you're ever in the East Valley area or around Gilbert, come down to church, man. We'd love to have you down there. Um, but we've got a good word for your day. We're gonna drink coffee mm, on this hump day. Hump day. And uh, we are gonna give you a good word from God's word. Legion confessions at the end of the show today. The word comes from First John chapter three. I love this word. It's called the key to confidence. Confidence. I'm confident when I say that. <laughs> I gotta be more confident when I say that. It's the key to confidence. Yeah. <laughs> the word of the day comes to us from 1 John chapter 3 and verse 19. Yeah. And by this we know that we are of the truth and shall assure our hearts before him. This word assure is a, a great word that you don't see in scripture a lot. But I want to show you what this uh, word assure means. Assure means to tell someone something positively or confidently to dispel mm -hmm. any doubts they may have. And so... Uh, recently at Living Word Gilbert in my message titled, God's Love is Greater. This is part three. We talked a lot about assuring your heart of God's love for you mm -hmm. and his loving care for you more, more so than this part three. is because he loves you, he does something about it and he actually cares for you. He does things to care for right. you, ahead of you, behind you, in you, outside of you, around you. doesn't matter where and how. And so uh, when we're dealing with the emotion of it all, uh, for instance, when you're dealing with your confidence mm -hmm. in your life mm -hmm. concerning your, your self-value, your self-worth, how you look at yourself, how you look at your life, what's ahead of you in your life. A lot of times you can allow the negativity of life and circumstances around you to, to affect you negatively, emotionally, or you can allow the Word of God and the love of God to dominate your thoughts and perspectives. Right. And you can learn to, in the midst of negative emotion, choose to assure your health, your heart. So mm -hmm. tell yourself something positively or confidently to dispel any doubts that you may have. Mm. And so it says like if we, if we have a heart that condemns us, it tells us in, in 1 John, it says if you have a heart that condemns you, God's greater than our heart and knows all things. Mm -hmm. And so that's the idea of assuring. So God's greater than our heart. If you can assure yourself with God's loving care for you, mm -hmm. and you can you say, how long do I do that? As long as it takes long for your emotions takes, yeah. to fall in line. You don't have to have one negative thought stay in your mind. Mm -hmm. It's up to you. It really is. Perfect peace have those whose mind ha is stayed on the Lord. Mm -hmm. So if you don't have perfect peace, or for, you know, peace and confidence are almost synonymous. So if you don't have confidence, you can guarantee that you are not keeping your mind on the Lord. You're looking at other things around you. Mm -hmm. And so that's where we need to be. We need to have an assurance in our heart yeah. that we choose to tell ourselves that God's there and He cares. Well, I think that that's, that's so important because we're... It's easy for us to assure others, mm -hmm. you know, when others are going through something or when others, we see others are not in a right mindset. It's easy for us to assure others yeah. and tell others something um, that will help pick them up and help get their mind focused on. But why are we so, um, uh, why is that the, kind of the last thing we want to do to ourselves when we're feeling like that? Do we think that we're being holy by that? Uh, I think there's a, a, a false religious idea that when you hate on yourself, you're actually that that's somehow humility. Mm, that yeah. you're, you're helping God out. You're keeping yourself small. But really, the, only, the, the best way to keep yourself humble is to realize that God's got you, mm. <laughs> that you're living your life under his care. Yeah. 
Um, and so check out this clip from uh, the message. If you've wondered lately, why am I not right? I'll tell you why. Because you're not aware of God's loving care for you the way that we could and should be. Do we have a measure of it? I'm sure. But do we need to grow in it more? Yes. Do we need to thrive in it more? Yes. Do we need to be aware and conscious of it every moment of every day of our lives? Yes. It is our goal as believers to grow and know the love of God, not only in this world, but in all of eternity. It is our joy and privilege to know the loving care of our heavenly Father and go from glory to glory in it, from revelation to revelation in it. Amen, somebody. It's time that we grow and know God's loving care for you and I. Um, so how do we assure ourselves when, when we find ourselves, whatever it is, you know, sometimes it's just, it, it, it feels good in the moment. Sometimes we um, feel that, you know, we're, we're in a, it's just really religion. It's just the mess of religion, you know, when, when you feel like you're doing that for um, the Lord. Because nothing in scripture says that. It's just a lack of understanding who God is and, and how much he loves us um, and what he thinks of us. And that's yeah. really what we have to assure our heart is is what god thinks of us so mm -hmm. there's there's you have, to, you have to do something yeah and there's there's different people in scripture who actually mm -hmm. do something to assure their hearts yeah so assuring your heart has to do with action mm -hmm. so you say something you move somewhere right. you do something like mary magdalene she came in washed the lord's feet with her yes. hair and her own tears it was deep worship for her yeah. uh peter assured himself of god's loving care for him and his lordship the lord's lordship mm -hmm. for his life uh, and, and really maybe his own faith. He did that by stepping out of the boat and mm. walking on, but he had to take the that action. first step. So yeah. you assure by words and action, but you got to do something. Mm. So you can't just stay there and marinate in your feels and be all negative and be all down and just feed the flesh. Right. No, nah, man, that's going right. to, that's going to take you the wrong direction and you're going to be in a place you don't want to be. Yeah. Uh, John, she, John leaned on the bosom of Jesus at dinner. That was his it was a mark of friendship, if you right, would. Right. I one time mm -hmm. actually had a, a story of something that I did. It was just praying a big prayer that seemed bigger than the moment. Mm -hmm. uh, I lost my wallet skiing mm -hmm. up that. at uh, uh, Purgatory in Durango, yeah. Colorado. It's an awesome ski mountain. Mm -hmm. I get down at the end of the day. Um, I'm coming back to my group and I reach for my wallet, which had all cash in it, no debit cards then, because uh, this is many moons ago. And, uh, and it was gone. So I turn around and look at the mountain. This is what I saw. Mm. I saw this huge thing, man. Durango yeah. or Purgatory is big. Uh, it's a big ski mountain. And I'm like, it's up there somewhere. You know, it's easy to just, just pack it in and say it's lost. Forget right. It. right. And so uh, I could have done that, but I decided it was younger than the Lord. I just decided it was a moment that I was going to pray a really big prayer. That was me assuring my heart of God's Lordship in my life. It was a mm. way to say no. Because I could have just said, well, it's lost. That wouldn't have been a growth point, though. Right. I would not have been assuring my heart and growing in confidence mm -hmm. in my walk with God. It actually would have been a, well, there's another loss. And I could point to that and say, no, God, where were you on that? Mm -hmm. Right? But I, I turned and looked at the mountain, but I just grabbed a, a, a friend's hand and I just prayed a prayer. Lord, pray that you just bring this home somehow, some way. I went and looked a little more after I prayed, nothing. Two weeks later, I get it in the mail mm. and it had all the cash in it. And it was another youth group had found it that was out there and sent it back to my house all the way to Arizona. And so that's what God does, man. His loving care for you is real. Check out another part of the message um, from Living Word Gilbert. Because it's one thing to understand that God loves you, but it's a different thing to understand that because of that love, he's motivated to care for you. Like the details of your life, every aspect of your life. God is motivated because he loves you to actually do something about what's going on in your life and to issue his care towards you. See, it's called his loving care. And I want to I wanna give you some insights into this today. Some of us are just more worried than ever before. We're more anxious about our lives. We're wondering, you ever feel like you've got, you've got the finger in the dam and the thumb in the dam and your big toe in the dam, and then you're trying to find a way to, to get this other, I was going to say dam again, but to get this other thing in the hole over here, and you can't because you've got any more. You're like, how am I going to hold this? together. And it, it, it can be uh, 
When we live like that, we're not aware of the loving care of our Father. I can promise you as a believer, you're not enjoying your life. You can honestly look at your life and your relationship with God, even if you're looking at it serving in the church or, or any part of your aspect of your Christian walk, and you're not actually enjoying it, but it's being endured in the moment. Something's off. And we need to always, what they always tell you when you're in sports or anything else, if you're learning something new, they always say, go back to the basics. What's the basics? What's the most ba basic thing? For God so loved you. He loves you, cares for you. And because of that loving care, he's got it all held together for you. All right, let's do our confessions today. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. My God is for me. He watches over my life. I am prepared for every moment because of the loving care of my heavenly father. All right, let's do it. My, my God, God is, is for me. me. He, he watches, watches over my life. life. I, I am prepared, prepared for every, every moment because, because of the loving care of my, my heavenly, heavenly Father. Father. Praise the Lord. I enter into the rest of God today because my heart is assured that I am a mm -hmm. child of God. Restful confidence is mine in the Lord Jesus. There's a key to confidence. Let's go. Let's say it together. I, I enter, enter into the rest of God today because my heart is assured that I am, I am a child of God. God. Restful confidence is mine in the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hey, uh, put your name down in the comments if you're a new viewer or new subscriber. We'd love to see who you are and where you're watching from. That blesses us. And they can always comment, like, subscribe, and comment below. And if you are watching the show and it's been a blessing to you, we just encourage you to share it with someone. Amen. We'll see you tomorrow on Tickety Tockety Thursday. That's the way we call it.